Yeah. Thank you. So Russell, maybe we could just start by asking you about the game last night. Awesome. <laughs> uh, super proud as, as a Canadian soccer fan. Uh, what an incredible moment. Is it, like, it seems to me like, not going back up even, maybe even all that far, Canada's progressed in quantum leaps. What do you attribute the, the improvement to? Uh, I think we've all had the, the I can't say it's just one thing, but we all had the privilege to watch Alfonso when he was here, and he's kind of uh, led the way. You know, he, he's an incredible person. He's an incredible athlete. Um, and to see what him and, and that team are doing for, for this country is, is truly incredible. Can it be understated, the fact that, you know, guys like yourself are playing in MLS, and, and these guys are spreading out all over the world, and, and that's contributing to the quality of, of, of the players now? Yeah, you, you have... Uh, a quality Canadian team that you can see who, whoever's starting, um, whoever the coach decides to put in that 11 is doing the job. Uh, and, and you see that with Kyle Aaron, you know, he didn't get to start the game before and, and he, he gets to start the next game and he scores two goals, two great goals that are important for this country. So um, I think there are, there's a lot of Canadian talent that, that the world is now seeing. And like I said, I think Alfonso led the way. Um, what, what do you think John Herdman's influence is on this team? Yeah, I mean, I'm just talking about the quality of the team, and, and they've they've been outstanding. Uh, I know my experience. It's you know he, he gets the guys doing what he asks, and you know he's he's been an integral part of, of Canadian soccer and its growth. Is that maybe one of the best games you've seen Canada play? I think it's it's one of the coolest, most exciting games. Like I said, I'm watching as a Canadian soccer fan, and to see you know. <laughs> All the factors, you know, the, the name of the stadium and Ice Tech, uh, it was just, it was super cool. You know, you see a, a boy like uh, Sam Adekubi celebrating, jumping into the, to the snow pile there. It was, it was like I said, it's, it's, it's a really proud moment for Canadian soccer and, and, you know, being a Canadian soccer fan, it's, it's really cool to see. Um, little, oh, sorry, go ahead. Were you a little nervous at the end to rest when things were getting pretty hot? I think they played an outstanding game. You know, I think they deserve that, that result. Um, but like I said, you know, it's, I'm super proud, but you know, you wake up today and my focus is now here for the Vancouver Whitecaps and it's about the playoff game, so let's talk about that. You've had uh, a long career here. Uh, how important is this, how big is this game on Saturday for, for you uh, personally? Um, what a cool moment for us. You know, you talk about uh, being proud. I was so proud being in that stadium, listening to our fans uh, at BC Place singing Stand By Me, and that's a special moment for us. So, like I said, the focus has shifted, and it's, it's what's it's always been here is playing in that playoff game, making the playoffs, and we did that, and we accomplished that, but we're not settling there. Uh, this team is motivated. This team's ready, and, and we're ready to go to Kansas and get a result. And you, you guys have been on the road for, I mean, the last 18 months, so you guys know what it's like to play on the road, don't you? Yeah, we do, but we also know how... how what home field advantage does, you know, with, with your fans in the stadium and playing at home, it does give you an advantage. But us being away from home for so long, like you said, um, not that we're used to it, but uh, we know how to grind over results and we'll do that. So somehow that 25,000 uh, person fan, uh, fans are going to be in the back of your mind when you play Saturday? They always have been. Um, we've been away from home, like we talked about, for an extended period of time and we knew how nice it was coming back and playing at home. But we heard them then, we heard them in the stadium, and we hear them now, and we'll need them uh, on the road as well. To beat them last time they were here, um, on top of all the other things that you guys have done in the last 15 games, confidence has to be riding pretty high. Yeah, I mean, you go through, that, that game feels like ages ago. You know, you go through this little break here where you, know, you, you get to get a little down period, a little rest period, but we've been ramping up back up and training now, and you know, like I said, the guys are motivated. Um, that result is a long time ago, and you know, the playoffs, the MLS, anybody can win. You're licking your chops, you just want to get after it? Can't wait.